I'm Victor Lucas from the Electric Playground. Sophia, it is uh, wonderful to meet you. Um, talk to me first about your character, Sylvie. Who is she? Sylvie is um, a variant of Loki. Mm -hmm. um, and she's also Sylvie. She's sort of recreated herself and she's... She now goes by Sylvie. Uh, she's a she's a new a new character with a new backstory, and um, yeah, it's sort of inspired by the comics, um, but a, a new story that we're telling. How does it feel to be a, a central figure um, that is sort of reshaping what we understand about the entire MCU? Ooh, when you put it like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, no pressure. Yeah, uh, no, super exciting, and you know, I'm just enjoying this moment, and um, really, yeah, it's just so cool watching people's reactions to the show, how much people are engaging with the character and the series, and we're all kind of overwhelmed by it, but very happy that uh, people seem to be enjoying it. Are you all looking to Tom Hiddleston, uh, you know, for a little bit of guidance with all of this? Because he's been a part of this insanity for so long. Does he have words of wisdom to help guide you through all this? Yeah, he does. And he's he's so valuable. He, he's, you know, we I I always go to Tom with any question I have about about the the character or the the universe. Um, and he is just a wealth of knowledge and like you say a really great guide actually you know he did these loki lectures at the beginning of filming um for a lot of the crew and some of the cast you know heads of department and things and it was great to get us all on the same page and get us all really excited about making the show he's really um a force of nature is tom and he, he you know it starts with that great energy at the top and i think it filters down through through all of us and you see that on screen and um, he just throws everything at it and he cares awesome. so much there was uh, it seemed to be kind of like a single shot in um, the third episode where you've got all kinds of chaos and uh, a spaceship blowing up and a city be, you know being destroyed all around you and you were running through the environment talk to me what that was like for you and Tom Hiddleston to kind of deal with all of this stuff Oh, it was so much fun. I really loved shooting that scene. We call it the Sheru Wana because the town was called Sheru and we made it look like a one shot. But it, there were like four or five little, you know, secret sure. stitches in there to stitch it together. Um, but yeah, it was like a few night shoots. Um, so we were all exhausted and delirious, and which is always fun. And Tom had got like food trucks, a different food truck every night. One night we had these incredible sesame fries. Um, you know, another <laughs> night we'd have donuts. So it was like a party kind of, but with work. And, you know, we did a lot of rehearsals and then a few takes of each of each stitch. But because everyone was just so on it and the stunt team and the special effects team, you know, with all the explosions and everything, they're so good at their jobs that yeah. it, it, would, it was just so, it was kind of, I don't want to say easy, but it, 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 was, it was challenging, but it, it worked out and yeah, yeah. I think we, we wrapped early and it looks amazing because that, the team is just so great at what they do. Yeah, there was a technical quality to it. You don't know where the practical effects end and the CG kind of begins. And I'm wondering what that must be like from the performer's eyes. I mean, it must be because you had a lot of visual stimulation all around you, but clearly it was embellished. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely embellished. I think on the, you know, we still had explosions and rubble and smoke and, you know, bat loud noises and things to react to. And then Kate would just be like, oh, and above that will be a building falling or, you know, to the right of that will be another explosion or there's a fire down there. And, you know, so you'd, <laughs> you'd be imagining all the extra stuff as well. But that whole thing was a set build um, that Kazra, the designer, created and, it just looked so beautiful, especially at night, because it had all of this cool UV paint on it that just lit it up so magical. Yeah, it was, it was really beautiful. Cool set. Okay, I, I don't want you to spoil too much because I'm along for this ride and I'm loving the show, but give us a taste of where we're going from here with Sylvie. Ah, <sighs> well... Yeah, I can't say anything without spoiling it, really. <laughs> um, but there's more. There's more to come. It's It might get a bit weirder. It, it's going to be surprising. Hopefully, you know, 
you'll love it just as much. Um, you know, we're only three episodes in. We're only halfway. So, know. you know, we've got a fair whack to go yet. And yeah, I just hope people enjoy the rest of it. I'm really excited uh, for next, you know, Wednesday. <laughs> as am I. Great to meet you. Thank you so much, Sophia. Thanks, Victor. Nice to meet you too. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye.